Welcome back to Dominion with Dean. Today we are going to take a quick walk through the user interface and just have a look at all the panels that uh, that are available in Dominion. We're going to customize a couple of them and also have a look at how to access the advanced features available in each panel. Okay, so firstly I just want to jog through the Windows menu because this is your go-to guide for showing and hiding all the different panels. As you can see we've got catalog tags showing on the left here, properties on the right, tray at the bottom, and map on the bottom right. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the tray panel, and I'm also going to hide the map panel. We're not going to be working with them right now. And then we're going to move on to our catalogs tags panel. The catalog tags panel is probably the panel that you will use most frequently during your Dominion sessions. Uh, purely because it exposes all the metadata that's available in your assets for easy browsing, filtering, tagging and editing. So what you would like to familiarize yourself with first is just th that there are different sets of, uh, of groups that you can have displayed over here, presets um, if you like. And all of the advanced features on any of the panels will be accessed by using this gear icon. You'll see it on each of the panel's title bars right next to the close button. So um, if I go back to the catalog tags panel, you'll notice that there are th three predefined presets in here. And then I also have the option to customize a preset. So I'm just going to switch between general and business, for example, and you'll see on the business preset, we've selected things like uh, project, client, and then on uh, minimal, we've choose, chosen to omit those, you know, so you, you can customize depending on your workflow, which sets of, of metadata you want to show. So I'm going to create a new preset here and I'm going to call it all groups. And I'm also going to go down here and select all of the available metadata and you'll see the list is quite extensive. And when I select OK, you'll notice that all of the items that we've selected are available here as groups. Right, then the catalog tags uh, panel also has a, a couple of additional features that you can just activate and deactivate. This uh, enable assign mode after each tag assignment and display number of assigned files. We will cover in the, the next couple of videos when we start assigning um, tags to, um, to assets. The next panel we'll be covering is, I think, the panel that you'll use second most frequently in, in all your Dominion sessions, and that is the Properties panel. Now, the Properties panel is basically an inspector um, for each selected asset. So when I select different assets in my main uh, grid thumbnail view over here, the, the properties that are assigned to that particular asset will be listed over here. And as you can see, again, there's there's quite a list of them. And um, as we did in the in the catalogs tag panel over here, we can we can customize different presets to to just show um, a selection of what is relevant to our particular workflow at the time. Um, by default, you'll see that most of these are activated um, and you can you can decide which ones are relevant and customize presets for your own usage. The rest of the panels available in Dominion we are going to cover in separate uh, video installments but what I would like to point out as well to you is that we have a toolbar at the top here and a status bar at the bottom which gives you feedback about what's happening in Dominion at this current view. So like you can see um, the 92 images that I've got loaded at the moment is in this folder here and if I expand my folder and group over there you can see that it's selected. So um, on the top toolbar you'll notice that there are navigation buttons that takes me forward and backwards in the different queries that I've loaded. Um, my add files button is for importing and then this show all button is the one that you will also use quite frequently to return back to showing all records available in the database. Now, for example, you can again see on the status bar here that we're looking at well, 1,371 of 1,371 
and we are currently displaying one to one thousand of that then you'll also notice that there's navigation so the first thousand will be on that first page the next thousand would be on the second page and if there were more obviously there will be more pages for you to select from there's also a sort order here so I can choose any of the available metadata fields in here to sort my records according to say for example I want to sort them to um, creation time or I want to sort them according to rating etc um, there's even more and more and more tags available so you you can be pretty uh, you know pretty versatile about how you list and which order you list your your records in and there's the um, the sort order ascending or descending um, your different view modes for example this is my thumbnail with uh, captions above and below then this is just a, a, a square grid for viewing my thumbnails in it loads pretty quickly and then the detail view and then also um, custom uh, film strip views for example uh, you these are pretty self-explanatory you, you you can flip through them and see which view um, suits you best for working I find that uh, I always revert back to the default thumbnail view because it's pretty customizable I can I can choose to either show or hide the caption above the image uh, show or hide the caption below the image and I can also customize both of these you know so the caption that I want to show above the thumbnail I can also select from metadata and I can add additional captions to the ones listed below for example if I want to display uh, keywords um, and a rating as well I can do that um, by selecting from these and hit OK and then you can see there's the rating and obviously these don't have any keywords assigned yet so you'll see that those fields are listed as empty right and then just to go back to the top toolbar you'll notice um, we've covered show all this is just to refresh the, the the current query reload it there's a quick search box for example uh, this location is called white sands so um, if I just have a, a look at the drop down list here and we are currently looking for all words that are entered and we look everywhere so if I type uh, white sand then it should list oh maybe if I spelled white right there we go white sands there we go so you see it's pretty quick and, uh, and, and very versatile about how you can search um, and then let's just navigate back to our previous view and that would be showing all records um, if I want to customize um, queries I do that from here we're going to cover um, building your own queries in a separate video um, these are just export options if I would like to either uh, copy this to a, to, to a folder away from the from my data store if I want to send it by email export information to CSV or create a contact card with PDF I can do that and then lastly I just want to cover the sync feature you know um, if if as I make changes to the metadata in Dominion if I have this search feature activated like it is at the moment Dominion will immediately start synchronizing my changes back to the files so I can switch that either on or off so you'll notice that uh, just a simple uh, drop down menu there that activates and deactivates syncing and if there are files that are currently being written or changes I should rather say that are being written back to the files you will notice that uh, it gives you an update here showing you how the synchronization process is going but again we will cover that at some later stage just be aware of it at this stage that you'll uh, you know you you might have this switched off and then notice that your changes aren't available in the files we will cover that when we do our next couple of videos on tagging and assigning metadata to files in conclusion I would just like to point out to you how customizable the interface actually is you can take any of these panels and uh, position them wherever it suits you to work with them so if you are dragging a panel you can actually dock it to existing panels and customize the interface 
to suit your workflow at the time. Um, if you require more viewing space, for example, you could um, merge panels together um, and access them from the tabs at the bottom or reposition them whichever way uh, you find the interface most comfortable to work with.